Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker here. Beautiful sunny day, a little chilly though. We are on a 2021 Royal Enfield Himalayan, but this isn't any regular Himalayan. This one's had some upgrades. It's, uh, <laughs> I've been riding around, it's just been a ball. Uh, some of the big things that would stand out right away, it's got a YSS suspension on the back and some uh, progressive springs on the front. I did not know it when I took it out uh, initially. I actually had to go back to the shop and find out what was going on because I could definitely tell it in the handling. But what a bike. Look at that. It's just, <laughs> it's just quite a deal. Quite a deal. And the uh, tires, it's got some uh, very aggressive tires. We'll look at those here in a minute. I'll stop and we'll go through all the stuff. But uh, I love it. Loads of torque. Good power. I love the way it handles. This thing's got all kinds of accessories on it too. All kinds of add-ons. She is a beauty. Oh yes, oh yes. Hot rod, what fun to ride, what fun to ride. Watch out for traffic. Let's do a little uh, round robin here. Oh. <laughs> My helmet's fogging over guys. What a grin. This thing is a grin. Must have extra ground, you know, I think it does have extra ground clearance. The suspension is killer on this. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. That is the big jump out on this one right away. Let's go down here and pull over and have a talk about her. <laughs> this thing is a beauty. This is a beauty. I like it. I like it a lot. Very positive handling. Very positive handling. This is a used motorcycle. It's got 6,200 miles on it, I believe. Uh, yeah, 62. <laughs> Wait a minute, a better drive, huh? All right, let me uh, get the helmet off and we will talk about what we got here. Wahoo! Hey, this has been a treat. I've been riding it around a little bit. This is a used motorcycle. Uh, sold to somebody in Minnesota somewhere. And uh, it's really kind of got it all. It's got a lot of work done to it. I knew the guy that used to own it. Uh, I've driven it once before, but they've done something else with it. It seems to run a lot better today, but it seems to be just fully loaded. It's got everything. We'll start with the engine. Uh, 411 CC, single overhead cam, uh, two valve, one, in, one intake, one exhaust, fuel injected, five speed transmission. I don't know what they've done to the engine. So I, beyond that, you know, there may be something done to that, probably a DNA filter or something like that. Um, it looks like it has a, uh, infill precision pipe on there and you can definitely tell it sounds better very interesting sound it looks like a different uh four pipe as well the big thing that i caught right away when i started riding it besides the sound if you look back in there see that red shock that's a yss and i think there's some length difference here let's take a look yeah maybe not i don't know if the links are different on it or not for height but uh you could really tell the suspension was different on this right away. I, the minute I drove away, you could tell that shock uh, immediately. And then there's progressive springs on the front. I'm not sure what a progressive springs do, but uh, I can tell you that the bike definitely handled in a <laughs> in a very interesting and fun way. Let's just put it like that. How's that sound? Uh, the tires on this are Shinkos. Let's see if we can find the words on it. Shinko Adventure Trail 805 on the back. And it looks like an 80 Shinko Adventure 804 on the front. Yeah, right here. But uh, look at that, isn't that neat? Very aggressive tread. Very, uh, this is a bike made for the dirt and the gravel. I think this one would do well. I'm not sure if they did anything to the brakes on it. They've raised the front fender up like they all should be. A little pinstriping there, huh? Isn't that cool? Uh, he's got, Bark Buster, I can't read, Storms on here. Very solid. Isn't that just a beauty? GV bars, I think these are GVs. Not sure about that. But the three-point ones, which are the ones I would get if I were to get bars on mine. Just really well done. Got the little uh, stickers on the side here. You know what? When this guy bought this bike, he bought this the same month I bought mine because... I can't remember if he got his first or I got mine first, but we got about the same time. 
but uh, he's really done you know the luggage racks on the back uh brake reservoir protector here just uh you know he moved the move the tail light back uh something i saw interesting was that one of the fellows uh the guy from wisconsin he had taken one his tail light and moved it back here and i thought that was a good idea very uh you know a little more visibility but uh the royal infield sticker right there isn't that nice coming up here he's got uh raised the bars are up he's got um usb ports doubled usb ports right there what a bike what a bike i love it oh tank protectors knee guards whatever you want to call them on the side <laughs> this thing has it all my friends i like it it's got the key things that i like it's got the raised fender the aggressive tires it's got uh hand protectors which i think they should all have and of course you got to have luggage on the back and uh I don't know if this bike comes with luggage, but at least it's got the rack so you can put the luggage back there. Um, now the real icing on the cake for this one, I would say, is definitely the suspension. And like I said, I immediately, immediately, when I started riding this, that's the first thing I thought was something. I had to, I took it around town a few times and I went right back to the shop and asked about that because you could really tell the difference. I've got, uh, I don't know, 17,000 on my bike with stock suspension. I like the way mine handles, but boy, this is very aggressive handling. I really could appreciate that. And I like the pipe too. The pipe had a good sound. But just look that thing over. Isn't that just a beauty? Wonder what we're missing. Let's just get a good look at her. Everything's there, isn't it? Very nice. Very nice indeed. Check that thing out. I like it. And something I noticed on this one when I was riding it was the compass actually worked. My bike, the compass has never worked. <laughs> and I think I found the reason for that. I parked my bike, the, the main power line for my house is literally right above where I parked my motorcycle. And I don't know if that has anything to do, you know, the electronic fields. We've got a 200, 200 amp service, so maybe that makes a difference. But uh, yeah, so that works on this bike. So, uh, you know, the dash, of course, the analog dash with the uh, speedo, the tachometer on this side, fuel gauge, the compass that actually works on this bike. Uh, you can shut off rear traction control. This is ABS front and rear. You can shut that off here with that button on the rear anyway. Uh, very nice dash. You know, when I first saw that dash years ago, I thought, oh, it's so dated. Now I, I just love it. I can't think of it, you know, can't think of having one without it. But uh, I think it's a 300 millimeter disc on the front with a twin uh, twin pod by recalper. And I believe the rear one is a uh, 200, 240 millimeter disc. Now you can see that's a single pod caliper on this one. You can see the ABS ring. I like it and I like the color. Uh, when I bought my bike, at that time there was no pine pine green yet. And I think uh, this was my second choice, this color. So I got the red, the black and red one. And uh, this was my alternate. If they wouldn't have had the uh, black and red. Of course, Baxter's, they called around and they found the one I wanted. So that was very nice of them. Baxter Cycle just does a great job of that stuff. And by the way, all these accessories on here, Baxter Cycle has a wall in their shop just full of these things. And uh, on their on their website, everything, you know, uh, fuel filter, air filter, everything you could possibly want, you can get online. And they'll, you know, it's, it's in stock. They'll ship it right out. So uh, no reason to wait. All kinds of goodies. I love it. You know, you don't have to order from wherever and wait two weeks or whatever. But uh, what a beautiful bike, huh? Check that tire out. Isn't that just, doesn't that just scream fun? <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. I like that pipe too. I'm going to ask about that. I've heard other pipes before and uh, I like the Zard pipe. The other pipes, they're okay. But uh, this is the infill precision. I've heard about this one. Precision, precision, infill precision. And I actually do like the way that sounds. And I don't know if this has a baffle in it or not. I can't tell. And I'm not going to stick my hand in there because it's hot. But what a beauty, huh? What a beauty. I love it. Okay, my friends. If you are interested in a motorcycle like this or a brand new Royal Enfield or Triumph, get a hold of Baxter Cycle, BaxterCycle.com. Those guys can help you out. Now, I'm going to put my helmet back on. I'm going to take that thing for a little bit of a spin and have a little bit of fun around town here. You all get on ride. Wahoo!